Wow, Tyson for free, an artist from St. Louis, Missouri, back with another video. It's almost like I'm becoming more consistent with my videos and that you should subscribe so you don't miss out on any of them. No, I'm just playing with you though. Um, yes, I am Tyson for free. I'm an artist from St. Louis, Missouri. I am back with another video. And this time we are doing some more manga stuff. Um, but this time I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be recreating um, a manga cover in my own style this time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're going back to my style. Um, I like my style. I like drawing in my style. That's why it's my style. So that's why we're here. Today we're going to be drawing uh, Jujutsu Kaisen's uh, Volume 7 cover. This is one of my favorite covers from Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen if you don't know, I don't know why you don't know, you need to be reading this manga because this this manga is amazing the, from everything. The story, the fights, the fights are crazy in Jujutsu Kaisen, man. Um, the main character, Yuji, bro. Oh my god, the villains, crazy. The teacher, crazy. Gojo is a beast. I'm trying so hard not to curse, but like my excitement, I really love reading this. I love reading this. I started, I'm not caught up right now. I'm on chapter 50 something. I'm on chapter 54, I think. Um, but the reading this though is, is just a wild ride. Like it's crazy. Like there's just so much stuff going on. There's so much build up and these fights are crazy. Like I love reading this. Um, I love reading this manga and I'm glad um i get to binge it like this because everything that's happening is so crazy um so yeah i don't want to talk too much about the manga if you're interested please give it a please give it a chance you won't regret it um so right now we're doing volume seven's cover right now i i really like this cover it's between this one and cover four with gojo on the front my top favorite covers right now um but i put up a poll i asked people on twitter a um, what volume cover should I draw from Jujutsu Kaisen? And um, everybody voted seven, which I'm glad because that's my favorite. I'm glad that one got voted for. Um, and so that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'm gonna try not to talk too much in this video. I kind of wanted to just be the drawing and the good tunes in the back. Excuse me, I just burped. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Um, but uh yeah um i think my favorite thing about drawing this was definitely the hands jujutsu kaisen like i had i made sure i got these hands right because jujutsu kaisen i'm gonna just call it jjk jjk um really does a good emphasis on hand signs and stuff like that and so like they they take that like seriously so i had to make sure i got the hands right and that part where like the hands are clamping together was really kind of a little challenging i'm not gonna lie um jujutsu kaiser has some beautiful cover arts like honestly some beautiful color pages the art style is fantastic like it, it it was so it got to the point you can see the line art right there to the side it got to the point where i was like man i kind of want to draw like the lines and stuff the way he does so you can see a little etching right there i kind of um i kind of piggybacked off of the way he drew hands just a little bit with the curves and stuff because i don't normally draw hands like that like the way he draw hands is so sophisticated you know and so i try not to um i try not to get too deep into their like style i wanted it to be mine like you could definitely like at the end you'll see it before and after it'll be clear as day at how different our styles is but you can notice some similarities as well um so right now i'm doing the coloring and the coloring i just did my i just did my thing my own spice with the coloring um even though i i kind of i kind of did a little bit of uh jujutsu kaisen's uh color uh scheming too with the very deep black for shadowings i think that's pretty fire so i went ahead and just went ahead and did that too man there was no point of it and then i gave him some jewelry because you know i like drawing i like drawing characters with earrings man i just think it looks fire i don't know i can't explain it i just feel like it's that you know that finishing touch you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm recording this video at 109 in the morning so if i sound a little drowsy that's why but i think i sound pretty wide awake right now so it's whatever um uh yeah so i'm gonna just go ahead and let the the rest of the coloring of this video play out y'all can listen to these tunes in the background um and i'll be back 
once it's finished. So here we are at the end of the video. Um, I went ahead, as you can see, I went ahead and did the background. At first I was gonna leave it white, but I thought, man, I might as well get the background because the background has its own flair too. So here's a little side by side, you know, it's going up and down, scaling the whole drawing. You can see the details and stuff like that. And here's a little side by side of what my style looks like compared to the original. And I think I got the composition pretty right. Um, if there's anything I could change, it'd probably be the colors, but. Um, regardless of that um, thank you for watching if you enjoy this please like subscribe and share uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will be back the next time I'm trying to break my wrists doing a drawing <laughs>